Welcome to a midweek edition of Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. A um, little bit of a disaster has struck in this tank here, our 90 gallon. Last night I discovered what I thought was, oh there's the clown loach right there, now it's hiding, ick on one of the clown loaches. I wasn't too sure, it was one spot. Well this morning there's more spots on it and there's some ick on the German ram. Now my normal water change routine is once a week, 25%. Um, this is just a how I deal with ick, not necessarily how everyone deals with ick. So I take 50% of the water out the first day and add my medication. The next two days I take 25% out and add the medication. The fourth and fifth day I add the medication and it's usually cleared up. Usually by the third day it's cleared up. Um, if it's not cleared up by the fifth day, then I keep adding medication and I might do another water change as well. Luckily, I haven't had to deal with ick in a long time and I'm not 100% sure why we have ick in this tank. We haven't added any fish in about a month and a half. So anyway, what I do for, that's my water change part. As far as chemicals go, I add, you know, I'll finish this bucket here. I could show you. We've got this bucket down here beside me, beside my dirty water bucket. You'll notice it's got a blue hue to it. That's because I've already added all the medicine that I'm going to need for day one. Now what I use is this Marine Lang Ick Remedy because I last time I had Ick, I had shrimp in the tank and this doing a little bit of research, if I did half doses with this, it shouldn't hurt the shrimp and it luckily it didn't the shrimp were fine so in this particular case it's one teaspoon for every gallon so this 90 gallons is nine teaspoons also if you have neon tetras or something like that other tetras you're only going to want to do a half load as well i douse this stuff with a aquarium salt as well some people just do aquarium salt and heat i do all three because i want to get rid of it the third thing I do is I turn the temperature up. I adjust my heater here so I get it to about 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. We've got our ram hiding right now so we can't really see him. We've got our clown loach, the sick guy. He's right there. Now you'll notice he's got some white spots on him. That's ick. If it kind of looks like white cotton spores sticking to your fish. It's common if left untreated your fish could die. I've never left it untreated. I have had fish die from ick. Anyway, looks like we're getting called, called away. Sounds like we're getting called away, but I do have some sensitive fish in here, so I want to get on it. I've got the autos that are sensitive. I've got the clown loaches are susceptible, and I've got the German rams which are susceptible. So, join me this Friday for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.